Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. And in this video, Lizzie takes control. This is all about Lizzie's sheep at her new block of ground and the new rams we've bought. So she's going to talk you through the first 17 days of tupping. Exciting group of onlookers I have behind me here. And she'll talk you through the, how many sheep each ram tups in each group. And... Yeah, I think she does really, really well. Let us know in the comments. She's coming up after the intro. Um, so we've come to Loudoun after 48 hours of putting the rams out with the cheviots and we're here to see if they're working and how many they might have... Um, served in the last 48 hours and um, we've got two splutting coughing no. sick wee children so we're gonna try and get round in the truck today as opposed to getting too cold on the bike um angus slept till like 10 o'clock this morning because i think he's just under the weather so we will get around and see who's been working the hardest jockey no. do you think do you think you can count the colors no no what about orange is there a blue one? No. <laughs> Is there a green one? No green one. No green one, right? Well, let's hope there's a green one or two. Uh, exciting, I can see some already, so that is a good start. Um, they're just gonna gather them up the top here. The TVs, they do seem to gather themselves as soon as you enter the field, so that's quite handy. I've got the dogs, if any of the other groups aren't gathering so well, just so we can get them all together and have a good look at them and see, see if he's working and who's not. So this is the, inner, I'm pretty sure I've written down in my book that the green is the Innovus Ram. So this is his group of views out here. And you can see him, he's just there with his rattle on. Handy to get the views all together just so he's not gonna miss anyone and gets a good look at everybody. And see if we can get some sort of count of how many he's done. Wait, is, uh, where is he working away the there? Nine, ten, eleven. No, they need. I think we're going to go for eleven. Eleven. Eleven for the Innovus. Aberfield SR in 48 hours. Good drawing, Jock. You'd be so exciting if you're left handed like your mum. Are you going to be left handed like your mum? Or like your mum and your granddad? <gasps> that, oh no. Oh, left or right? You're not sure. Can I be right-handed too? Okay. Okay, so the next group is the Frontera. I had a little drive around and the rattle wasn't coming off quite as well. He's blue. Um, it's not coming off quite as well as the green ones we've just seen. So I have to get a little bit closer. You can see the ones he's been jumping as well because they've got like dirty feet marked down the sides. And then they have got a bit of a a blue rattle on their, on their bum, but it's just not coming off quite as strong as the green one. But we'll have another drive around and see how many he's done. Oh, it's still really hard to see. Uh, you can just see the blue is coming out a bit lighter there. I think I've counted, I think I've gone for 13. I haven't missed any. Jockey, what's the best bit about not feeling well? You can get a bit of cow ball. Is it yummy? Is it yummy? Want more. You want more? Please. Okay, I think you can have a little bit more because you're a big boy. Get more. A little bit. Get. Looks like the orange rattle is coming off off the easy as you can definitely see some orange bums and 
quite far away, but there's quite, quite a few there too, so we'll get a bit closer and have a count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Can you stand nineteen? Good effort, that. Nineteen in forty-eight hours. You've been cheeky. Yeah. Oh, so you are. So the verdict was that the Inverus Aberfield SR had done eleven. Uh, the Frontera with the Blue Rattle had done 13 and the Logie had done 19. So obviously he's winning at the minute. Uh, we might need to tighten up the rattle on the Frontera. I'd notice it, the crayon was hanging off his, off the skin of his chest. So he's still working fine and it's not hindering him, but we just can't see uh, the blue markings quite so easily. So we might get a catch of him and tighten it up a bit. Uh, so we're out checking coloured bums on the Cheviots again, day six today, so nearly a week in. I uh, didn't film the first one, but the Innovus has done 37-ish. It's harder to count now, I nearly need to, well, it's nearly easier to count them, the ones that aren't coloured at the end anyway. But I think 37-ish for him. I think I'm counting about 27-ish here, but um, the rattle is so hard to see and he's marking so lightly with it. It's probably is quite a few more. I could probably be over 30. Um, just haven't been able to count that, but yeah, I think it's working away just fine. And we'll go next door, next door over there, and count the the ones that the Logie's doing. As has been the case with the orange marker on the Logie, it's much easier to see. I've gone for a count of 40 today, so he's done very close to half. At six days in, so he's, he's doing pretty well. So we're back out checking, checking the rams on a wet day. We made the call today to leave the, we've left the boys in the car with snacks, and Jock's got a bit of Peppa Pig. I like to get the boys out as much as we can, but you have to make the call where like it's wet, cold. He wants to come out, but I know within ten minutes we're on the bike today because at Loudon, he will be a little bit miserable. So it'll be as quick as I can, get around everything, should be 20 minutes and we'll be good to go. A little bit of a mix up, not sure what happened in this field. Some gates are open that I haven't opened, Cami hadn't opened and obviously the ram was in the middle of the wood, not with any of the girls. So that's a little bit annoying. I had left them an extra day this time just to give a chance for the rams to have a good go at it and get a good count. I think I've counted uh, one day 10 Today, so I think I've counted 50 at the first group with the Innovus Ram um, on day 10. So we've got 50 down for him and there's about 87 in each group. So we're getting through them now. Um, here we are, this, the second group on day 10. This is the Fontera. I think I've counted 47-ish. But as we've said before, this is the group where the rattle seems to be coming off the least. So it's quite tricky to count. We've got a relatively good count, I think, 47. We could catch him and tighten that up, but we are relatively happy that he's getting on fine as he is, so we've left it for now. And here we are in the last group with the Logie Ram. I did manage, as I came in the field, to split them into three-ish groups, so it made counting a bit easier. Um, although the orange is very bright in this group, so it's actually quite easy to see. But now there's so many getting tucked that it uh, can get a bit tricky to count. I think I've counted 60 for the Logie Ram on day 10. So we do actually have a fourth group of Cheviots running at Loudoun, although these aren't part of the initial big mob that we've split into three. And these are made up of some of our own cheats that we had left, around 30-ish. And then before we bought our big mob of cheats at UA, we started buying um, a few other smaller groups of cheats, about 30, I think it was 36 in total. 
So these all um, have made one group of about 60 to 70. Um, and they have got a blue face Lester. There he is, looking happy as. Um, they've got a blue face Lester running with them. They ha he hasn't got a rattle on or any keel. Um, so we're just letting him work away and hopefully he gets, gets through most of them. So I think I think that took me 22 minutes in total. Got to do a whip around them. I didn't want to be out any longer in the rain. <laughs> it was cold and wet enough. Jockey, are you happy? You've been watching Peppa? Have you been watching Peppa? <gasps> you lucky. Angus, you okay? You got a wee snacky sandwich? Yeah, they managed. They managed. Mm -hmm. Cheeky. Um, so we're back at it. Day 13, we are out here today. Cheese! You saying cheese? You've been cheeky. Um, it's definitely quite hard to count these. <laughs> just because there's so many and then this rattle is coming off well enough but it's a little bit lighter and anyway but I'm going for about 57 58 for the inverse ram on day 13 could be a handful more could be around a 60 mark or just over I think so um yeah no doing fine we've got the boys out today no one was sleeping and the weather was good enough so yeah I've got the carrier, so Angus is just squished in the middle. Aren't you, Angus? You just squished in the middle. Mm, cheeky. Aunt Jock, you got a cheese? Cheese! <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Jock, why are you taking the boot off? Moon. Why? Um. Why? You get wet feet? Uh, boot. On. On. And yeah, push on. Not quick. And so we're here at the last group on day 13. It is actually getting quite hard to count them now. I can't push count down. all that many more than what I counted down. last time, which was about 60. So um, I guess there's only there's less use coming into season at the same time now. So uh, the, the pace will slow down a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're both rams, all the rams are still working away chasing you so that's that's a good sign looking happy enough um just a few days now and then we'll get the rattle changed and we'll see what, yeah. what's happening after that so on day 17 um with the chief it's in the rams today it's super wet at night just chucking it down <gasps> oh windy cold wet it's nasty but um thought I'd better come out and see them on on the day 17 um boys are having a sleep in their car so that was handy didn't have to get them out they had a a run out in the buggy um, feeding the creek lambs before we came here so they got a bit fresh air and got out about then uh, now having a sleep so quickly whipped around didn't take the phone because it's so wet so the, what I'm doing now is counting the ones that aren't marked so uh, which is a bit easier generally so basically anything that hasn't got any a little bit of colour on it at all I was counting um, so in with the inner verse, which is a blue mark I think I counted eight. It's always quite a rough count. There's quite a few sheep there running all sorts of ways trying to count them. So I think I got eight for, for him. And also the Fontera. I think I counted eight for him as well. So that was that seems quite even. Eight each left after 17 days. So they've done about 79 each. Could be one or two more. Or less depends on rattle and just make my counting as well i guess um i do think we haven't actually caught them yet but i do think there's a weather in i've seen him a few times since we've had the sheep and i think he's in with the frontier now and he didn't have a keel on him i'm pretty sure he's a weather we just need to catch him and make sure but sometimes i think it's a leaf and sometimes i think it's a spizzle but i'm pretty sure it is a weather so and the fact that he's not marked as well kind of does help help my case so we'll have a look at him next time they're in and now i know which group he's in it's a bit easier maybe to find him and he hasn't got a rattle on so and then in with the logie the logie actually did seems to have a few more that aren't rattled i got i think i got around 15. so i'm pretty sure his rattle was still there like he still looks like he's got color so i know his rattle was coming off a lot quicker on him so you could think that maybe he'd um finish his rattle or something i don't know but it does seem like he's got 15 left um to do so he started off strong but it seems like he's got just a few more left it's 
at the end there but um, no doubt it'll get them in this uh, next cycle so I'm still quite pleased after 17 days um, after 17 days 263 there is oh what's that 31 left to top maybe minus one because it's the weather so say 30 I think 30 out of 263 left at day 17 so we were going to change the rattles today but it's so miserable and wet like there's no point in getting out there and well we have to come in and it'd be some some mess so um so yeah that's the current update and then we'll put the new rattles on and we'll see hopefully the the ones that are left get done relatively quickly and it kind of keeps lambing quite tight and um Uh, yeah, like it couldn't be, couldn't be any weather today. We are 27th of December, first day back. We've been down to Devon where it was 15 degrees for four days and pretty dry. And uh, we get back to Scotland last night at 2 a.m. And it was about four or five degrees and I was, it's raining. I thought it was easing. That's why I got out here, but it's not and it's wet. So the day before we left, we put the new rattles on the rams. We actually switched one ram. He kind of jumped the fence. He thought he was done. We wanted some others. So he switched himself. And then we put um, two different colours on the other ram. So just to see how they were going to do the rest that hadn't been done. There wasn't too many. Out of 263, there was around 30 with no rattle mark at all after 17 days. So that was quite good. Um, and just to see if any were returning and if there was lots returning obviously we need to maybe check the rams but if it's just one or two that's not too bad and so I have um, I think holds mostly then it could be quite tight lambing in the first few weeks which should be good um, these are the, out here with what was initially the logie ram with the orange ones orange bums and now we've got the Ontario in here with the purple rattle on and I've just seen he's only done one so far so I don't know I thought there was maybe 10 to 15 in here initially that had no rattle mark on at all and there still is quite a few with nothing on so I don't know he's only done one in a, in a few days but hopefully in the next week he'll do them all or we'll have to have a look at them and see what's, see what's going on in the the first group i looked at it was really heavy rain there so i didn't take a video but it was the innovus ram i thought he had about eight left after the 17 days um i see two with red on now nothing looks like it's been covered red on top of the initial what was he blue that's good i think we had a bit of a between when i checked them at 17 and putting the different color on there was a few days so obviously they could have uh, done a few in that time so there might not be as many as eight for the second cycle and then the second group was initially where the Fonterra was with the blue rattle that wasn't coming off very well and the Logie had jumped in there so he put himself in there we left him there with the orange and I see I see about five orange bums at the minute and I think maybe two are on top of blue already so you could say two have returned um, from the first cycle there um, and probably a couple with nothing on yet. So we'll give them another another week or so, and then keep checking them and see. And hopefully we we'll get um, we we'll get everything covered in the next week. This will probably be up to up to about four weeks. Mm, yeah, nearly four weeks now since the rams gone in initially. So hopefully we we'll get everything covered in the next few days. There we go. What do you think of that? Fantastic. So a couple of factors to think about. I would say the Rams are pretty even at those scores because really, if I gave those Rams 150 sheep, they would have done a lot more. It, it, realistically, it looks like just the ewes that are left haven't cycled or perhaps like the one Lizzie said that's a weather. We might have a few other issues with things like that. So yeah, really, really happy with that and the fact that nothing's obviously returning the first few days. Even more delighted. So that's tupping just about finished. Next thing, we're into scanning. But in our next video, we are selling lambs. 
more day-to-day -day stuff coming up ahead now that I have some free time to get back into the videos. Thanks for watching, sheep fans. See you for the next one.